All right, this is the unboxing of the FL Sun i3. Uh, this is a 2017 version, which uses 2020 for the x-axis. Uh, I ordered this on last Sunday. It arrived from China to Edmonton in uh, four days. It was here Thursday. I picked it up today, which is Friday. Let's see what we got here. This is my first 3D printer, so I'm not sure whether I can tell if it's packed well or not packed well. I can, however, tell that I have the box upside down. Not sure if that's from customs that way or whether it was all right. So right on the top here we got a little note. Thank you for support. Uh, two key points before assembling the printer, check out the SD card. It includes assembly instruction, user instruction, software, and other instruction files. And then when you begin printing the printer, or building the printer, sorry, please refer to the assembly instruction, PDF, and videos on YouTube. Uh, check that you make sure the voltage power supply is set correctly for 110 or 220, which for us here is 110. And if you have any problems, please contact their support before leaving negative feedback. All right, and we have a parts list signed with a big check mark on it. All right, on the first level here. So, first thing is the power supply. Uh, it is currently set to 220, so we'll have to change that. Uh, there is no fan for the power supply. That'll probably be one of the first upgrades I do is replace it with one with a bit higher wattage. I believe this is only 20 amps. And uh, yeah, so 12 volts, 20 amps. So I'd actually like to get a, a 360 power supply instead. So 30 amps. We'll leave that there. Uh, the unit comes with two rolls of filament. Uh, both of these are PLA, it looks like red and yellow. They're not exactly huge spools, but uh, they're free. All right, we've got a bag of some plastic pieces here. These are all, look like they're injected, molded. They're not printed. That's good. We have some more uh, plastic pieces. Oh, some aluminum in there too, some screws. These are for uh, assembling the 2020. Another bag. These are our, uh, pieces for our carriages. And the... Okay. So the tube for the Bowden extruder, as well as some cable management stuff. USB cable. Here's the uh, extruder. It's mostly together, it comes with the uh, thermistor and the heater block. Some of the other cabling. And this is the LCD display we've got there. Here's the USB card and the SD card, as well as the Ramps board. This particular model is supposed to be a Ramps Plus clone, so I'll take a look at that later. Got some pieces of uh, acrylic, some cabling, uh, non North American power supply cable, so I'm not going to be able to use that. Uh, some slightly heavier uh, gauge wires for probably the silicone bed or for the heated bed. The power cable that came with the unit is just two prong. There is no ground, so I won't be using that either. It's not going to be too safe. 
Got a little screwdriver and looks like uh, that's some sort of splitter. Not sure exactly what that's for. I guess that's why we have to read the instructions. All right, next level down. All right, uh, I don't know if you can see there, but the threaded rods and the uh, and the the actual shafts are just kind of laying in here loose. Looks like they've come out of their packaging. That could have been when I was turning it right side up, or it could have been when Customs was going through this. Uh, the rods are smooth though, like they don't feel any uh, any burrs, like it's been banged around for a long period of time or anything like that. So those are all looking okay. This particular model came with a uh, capacitive sensor for the bed. So hopefully there's instructions on how to put that in because they don't all come with that. Uh, we got some belt pulleys, some cable harnessing, Ooh, another random piece of plexi. I'm thinking that might be for the, looks like it might go here with the, uh, the bed sensor. We'll keep that together. Uh, the extrusion is all wrapped in a, a plastic, so it looks like it's plastic, maybe a tape type product. Uh, it's pretty dirty inside, lots of shavings I can see. Like a ton of shavings, hopefully you can get that in there. Uh, but, it does seem to be in fairly good shape, all things considered. Except for the shavings on the surface. Alright, so we got eight pieces of extrusion. A, a roll of tape for the heater bed. I'm not sure I'll ever use that. That looks pretty beat up. So here we have a package of uh, assembly screws. Uh, this particular uh, kit does not come with T-nuts but rather a square type nut. So I'll have to wait and see how well that works in the uh, 2020 extrusion. Uh, the nice thing is I see that uh, everything is in individual bags and all the bags are marked, so that's really handy. I've seen lots of kits online that that's not the case. So we got some fans here, uh, some other miscellaneous pieces in this bag. I'll have to, looks like the, the limit switches and stuff, end stops, so I'll go through that. Uh, we have here Another bag full of uh, acrylic parts. They are kind of bubble wrapped, but really not a lot of protection on anything. However, for the most part, everything looks good. I am going to have to go through everything and make sure that all the pieces are there at some point uh, before I start building, of course. I'll just throw that back in the bag. This will probably be one of the first upgrades I need to do. The uh, Support for the bed is just plexi and apparently uh, it looks like it's the standard, whatever that is, 8, 6 mil, whatever. It's not uh, not super sturdy and it does tend to sag over time from what I've heard. So, uh, we have the heated bed here. Um, the heated bed comes pre-soldered, the cables to it. Uh, so that's kind of nice, no connectors to potentially cause other issues, that sort of thing. Alright. And that just leaves all the stepper motors. So, little, uh, those seems to be five, all identical, and that would be everything. All right, now time to go through and make sure that it's all here. Thank you. Just a quick follow-up to the unboxing. Uh, I've laid out all the parts, spent some time taking all the tape off of the extrusion, as well as all the paper covering off all the acrylic pieces. Not fun for a guy with no nails. Thankfully, my wife was wonderful and helped. Anyway, uh, 
it's impossible to check the parts against the parts list. Um, as they describe things as acrylic pieces 23, so whether you got the right stuff, who knows. I'm just going to have to uh, start building and see what I end up with. Anyway, uh, there's everything laid out, ready to roll, and I'll do a shoot, a bit of a time lapse of me putting it together. <laughs> 